So today I'm talking about a P0203 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0203 code? Well, it's an injector circuit open cylinder three. And so what does this mean? Well, basically each cylinder on the engine is going to have a fuel injector that's sending fuel into that cylinder. And the computer's seeing a problem with one of these, mainly on cylinder number three. If you were to get a P0201, that would point to the number one cylinder. P0202, that would point to the number two cylinder. But this P0203 is pointing to that number three cylinder. So if you go Google your engine and cylinder locations, since there is differences, and you find cylinder number three, that's going to be the cylinder that's having the problem, and it needs to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0203 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad fuel injector on cylinder number three. That fuel injector might have just gone bad and just need to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing that fuel injector. If you have a multimeter, you can't test this coil that's inside of there and be sure that it's good. Basically, these fuel injectors have a small little coil in there that when voltage goes to it, it's going to energize it, which is going to move a magnet, which then lets fuel go into the cylinders. So you can go check this coil and be sure that it's not open. So you can use a multimeter, you can set it to ohms and go and check it and be sure it's not open and that it's at the rated ohms that it's supposed to be at. These fuel injectors are going to have a rated ohms that it's supposed to be at, which is going to be different for every engine. So you will need to go look up what the rated ohms are for your particular vehicle. And then you go and check it. And if it's outside of this, then you know it's bad. Or if it's open, you know it's bad. If you can't locate what the rated ohms are for your particular vehicle, you can check the other ones and check to see that if it's close to that. So you can use the good ones to know what the rated ohms are supposed to be. You can also swap out these fuel injectors for a known good one and just see if the problem follows. So there's some different ways to go about finding out if that fuel injector has gone bad. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad fuel injector. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the fuel injector. If there's any kind of problem inside the wiring, like an open, a short, then that's going to cause problems. Again, there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting the wiring. You can't get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle and use a multimeter and go and check and be sure everything's good. Quite often you can find wiring schematics using Google Images or something like that. If you can't find those wiring schematics for free, there's also paid options. I'll put some links down below to some good paid options if you need it. Hopefully you can find it for free. But if you can get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle, then you can't go through, test the wiring, be sure it's good, be sure there's no open, short, or anything like this, because the next thing that's going to cause this is a wiring issue. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0203 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.